Well, good morning and welcome to City Line. It is great to be in your home. We have a wonderful hour ahead of us. Today is Thursday, August 16th, and as you know, we are live every Thursday morning. Later on in the hour, we'll be talking with the Hilltop Street Fair. Mario, Ann, and Christy are here to talk about this year's street fair and the vendors, the entertainment, and some special surprises that they have also. And then Metro Parks Park Rangers are here. Mary and Ben are here. As I was pulling into the parking out this morning I saw them walking up in their in their park ranger uniforms and I thought oh they look so fabulous so we're going to talk about the park ranger program and some ways for you to be involved and stay involved in metro parks sound transit update Scott's back to talk about the hilltop transit link and the dome transit link all of that is very important to our community and then speaking of important things to our community right now I have the pleasure and privilege of talking with Tacoma Public Libraries Kate Larson. She is the relatively new director to Tacoma Public Library. She was here last January and Jeff had the pleasure and the privilege of interviewing her when I was not here. So it's my turn to put her in the hot seat. So welcome dear Kate. Hi, thank you. Good to have you here my dear. We are going to be talking about, uh, gosh, Tacoma Public Library, conversations, the team, everything. But first, I want to talk about, um, we had you, as I said, as our guest in January, right when you first started as the library director. So how are you liking Tacoma? Uh, I'm loving it more and more every day. It's, um, it's a great city to be in. There's, and it's a great city to be in at this time, too. Yes. Um, there's so much energy around um, positive community change and we have lots of new leadership everywhere so mm. it just feels like it's a really energetic time to be here yes and that's that's kind of something that I thrive on and was you know was really looking for so yeah it's been super I think I think you, you nailed it absolutely we just need to find you an orthodontist here locally don't we <laughs> yeah because yeah. you're going back up to Everett all the time. I am going back up to yeah. Everett for my appointments yeah. that's a long <laughs> appointment let me tell you it is but my hairdresser is still there too well then okay forget it so. you know yeah I mean I mean that's that that's two over there so as soon as the braces come off then yeah. then we can like talk yes. hairdresser okay yep. yes so let's talk about your first six months on the job because I know as uh, um, an executive director, my first months or what I thought my first six months was going to be, at least for my experience, was not what I had put down on paper or what I had professed would be. Mm -hmm. What was yours like? I guess I would say I haven't come to many surprises. I did a ton of research before um, interviewing for this as job. a good librarian as a, a, right as a good librarian should and uh, so I sort of had a plan and I think um, part of the reason why the board of trustees selected me is because they could already see that I had a plan and they were interested in the plan that I had yes um, but of course you know anytime you're new to an organization whether you're the director or not I think the thing to do is really to understand every aspect of the organization so that's what I've been doing I've been investigating all the arenas that in which we ex exist which is pretty much everywhere in Tacoma but you know getting to know city staff getting to mm -hmm. know library staff getting to know community organizations around the library and that intersect the library our current partners starting to develop new partnerships and you know look and then starting to look forward to planning uh, for a new strategic plan but this has also been a budget planning year so oh, my learning wow. has had to really be accelerated so that I'm making sure that we're making appropriate choices for the next you know so that we're in the right place as we go in the next yeah. biennium so Kate that's a double whammy um, when you think about getting to know an organization and then putting a strategic plan on it, but then really what has to be the foundation is the budget, right? Um, because that determines what you do with the strategic plan, exactly. that determines your team. Exactly. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow, you walked yeah. into a triple header. <laughs> you really, I'm like, oh my goodness, my head's spinning just hearing that. Well, it's, it's, it's again, it's something that um, is really exciting to me and I sort of thrive on that. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It sounds like it, yeah. you know. Um, Hard so, work, but fun. Yeah, that is hard work because you you got a lot of balls in the air. 
Let's talk about this team that you inherited. Um, how would you describe your team? They're wonderful. The whole entire library staff is great. I can't say enough good about them. And it was, it was so nice to be so welcomed. Mm. Everybody was just so um, enthusiastic and happy that I was coming. And, and, and that's a great place to start from. Yes. Um, and uh, enthusiastic, ready, to, ready for change, ready to do something different, ready to get out there. And, uh, and really having, knowing that I have them behind me and I, and conversely that they have me behind them, yes. um, is a really good foundation. Absolutely. Yeah, so, they're so, great. So what changes or what improvements uh, have you made? Well, one big one that is um, great to be able to brag about is when I started in January, our technical services department, that's the department that um, orders and processes all the materials that go through, you know, that you see on the shelves and that are on our virtual shelves on mm -hmm. our website. Um, our turnaround time was 96 days. <gasps> Uh, wow. and, and that's, that's not good. That, that means that people are having to wait a really long time to get materials and it, and it has effect on material use. Um, so luckily, uh, the city has a city improvement, uh, continuous improvement process, mm -hmm. um, uh, staff, and, uh, we were able to engage them right away and had them work with our staff and technical services. And we got down to what is really, a um, uh, a great turnaround time of like six days. Oh my with gosh! No new staff, um, uh, just by improving processes. So it is. I can't even tell you how amazing it is. I hope that sounds as amazing as it is because we Kate. had you know hundreds of carts full of books, and now we've just got a few uh, because you know we're just we're we're processing that material as we come in, and of course, and so that means that you, the public, are getting materials as quickly as you should be. So, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, your work here is done. so amazing. You can retire now. <laughs> just give your notice and say, I've, I've accomplished. I mean, that is, it is, that is just so huge in it terms is. of, um, I, I have a lot of pride with my community being Tacoma and mm -hmm. being uh, Pierce County. And, and I love the fact that we have Tacoma Reads and we are a very engaged community when yeah. it comes to books and, and, and literary. Yeah. Um, and to have to wait that long for something, yeah. the ripple effect is unbelievable. Whether you are a professional, whether you are a homeschooling parent or you are an adult who's trying to get a book on tape or a child who is trying to get through the Harry Potter series. That's right. Either way, it, mm -hmm. it, it puts a damp, uh, damp the love of learning and especially mm -hmm. the love of reading. Mm -hmm. So good on you and your team. Well, yeah, I, yeah, it, I'm so proud of them. Absolutely. It, it's amazing. So let's talk about, um, we have libraries, uh, what is libraries transforming communities on your website? Fred, our producer, uh, found this quote that I want to read, and then we're going to find out what is transforming communities. And this is the quote, Tacoma Public Library is hosting conversations with people from our community, you, each one is a chance for us to better understand people's aspirations for our community, the concerns you have, and what you believe might make a difference in strengthening the community. We'll take what we learn from these conversations, use it to make our work in the community more effective. We can't promise the conversation will lead to a new program or policy. We pledge to get back to you with what we have learned and let you know how we use what we have heard. That is a beautifully transparent paragraph. That that is well worded. What a beautiful feeling it has. So how does that tie into libraries transforming communities? So libraries transforming communities is a civic engagement model that is coming out of the American Library Associ Association. It's a couple years old. Um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation actually funded the process for the ALA to work with a, an institute called the Harwood Institute. And the Harwood Institute is really uh, one that is focused on helping agencies figure out what the community, what their community wants for their town. Mm -hmm. um, so it's this, this concept of turning outward. And uh, so they developed this Libraries Transforming Communities, and we've, we've customized it a little bit. It's called, um, we're calling it Libraries Transforming Tacoma. Nice. And it's based on, um, it, it, 
it, so I'll say at the outset, it's really confusing for people at first, I think, um, who are coming to participate because we're not asking questions uh, like what's, what sort of library services do you want? It's about um, finding out what, what are your aspirations? What are the challenges that you're facing every day? What do you think some solutions are to those challenges? And so then it's our job to figure out where does the library intersect with those aspirations and challenges. We, we feel like we are, as a civic agency, we are perfectly positioned to um, be an agent of positive change in the community. And I think we've always been that. We just haven't told that story. And, and this is kind of helping us make that more apparent and helping us also shape our services so that it's reflective of Tacoma. So. Um, so whether we can help with the affordable housing crisis, mm -hmm. we don't know yet. We, we do think there are some areas where we could have an impact or partner with agencies that have, can have an impact, or we can share information with agencies who can have an impact. Wow. So that's kind of the idea behind the model. And the website has a list of uh, meetings, times, and places. Mm -hmm. Um, in these last two minutes, I want to find out, first off, how do you register for these meetings? And then what are some of your community partners? You don't have to register for the meetings. Okay. Just, just show up. I, will, I do have to say, and I hate to have to say this, but it's, it's important that um, everybody get there on time. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's right. It's a, start on time. It's, it's kind of a working meeting. It's a, there's a, it's a series of questions. And so it's taking people through that series and coming in in the middle of it is even, it is even more confusing for mm -hmm. people. So I would just encourage that. But, um, so, uh, you don't have to register. The dates are on the website. We're adding a few more at least before the end of the year. And so there will have been, uh, you know, about 15 total by the time that we reach the end of the okay. year. And then who are your community partners in this? So primary partners, uh, who have shared free meeting space with us, which has been really critical. Um, yes. One of the things that we're not doing is holding these meetings in libraries because we're trying to reach communities that we're not serving. Thank you. Um, so uh, Tacoma Housing Authority has provided a ton of free meeting space for us in each of the, their buildings. Metro Parks, Associated Ministries, Tacoma Community College, uh, Bates Technical College. But we had um, many others that I won't remember, really a laundry list of folks who helped us uh, get ready for this process as part of our, our, um, our, our beta mm -hmm. process. So we yes. had lots of community partners already who have um, just helped all of our facilitators get warmed up and ready for these conversations. So we just want to say thank you to all of them. And I want to say thank you to yeah, all of them. Yeah, absolutely. So Miss Kate, you have done a lot in your first six months. I want to have you back on the big comfy couch once all of these meetings are over and mm -hmm. I want you to tell us what you heard. And I would then, love to do then that. What happens next yeah. in this journey of conversations? Yeah. Um, and I want to say, my goodness, you have just dove right in. So it's great to have you here. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to some of the changes that you're going to bring to us. Me too. I think Koma it's does be great. read. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my dear, I'll see you back on the couch in six months. Okay, sounds All good. All right. After just a little bit of musical chairs, we're going to have Mr. Scott Thompson here to give us a sound transit update. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. Shh. 